Hey, what's up, you guys? It is another mother freaking Minecraft Xbox 60 edition update. And in this update, well, we got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of good stuff. And I'm excited. And so are all the Xbox 60 edition players because we haven't gotten an update in a long time. And I want you to like this video, winky face. I also want you to subscribe for more Minecraft content and all kinds of weird Xbox 360 content. And vlogs, too. Um, so, hello, if you're new. As you can see, I'm building the structure. If you watch my other update videos, I had the structure not here before. But, yeah. This is new. Anyways, let's get started. So, we have new hardened clay added into the game, right? We have red, orange, we have lime, we have light blue, we have cyan, we have blue, we have purple, we have magenta, we have pink, we have white, we have light gray, gray, black, green, and brown. Hardened clay, yeah, we got stained clay. Too bad we don't have stained glass, but that might be next update. So you take all your dyes, you know, say you have your shovel, you're walking around one day, and then you're like, oh my god, look, I found clay. You're going to mine up that clay, and you're going to get yourself some clay balls. They'll all give you a random amount of clay, but when you have a good amount of clay, let's say a stack of 64, because you were just that lucky, you know, you go up to your crafting table, you're going to put these um, clay blocks either in the furnace, and make just bricks and make bricks, or you can put them all together to make clay blocks, and then you can um, put your shovel away. You can cook up those clay blocks. Now, you how you get these colors is you'll do this. First, you need to put your clay blocks in the furnace to cook it up, right? So those will cook, and it'll get even harder. Have you ever played with clay in art? You know, you have it all mushy and nasty, and then when you're when you're done making whatever you're making, the teacher says, okay, I'll fire it up. She fires it up in the furnace, and boom, it's hard clay. Um, so that's how you do it, and you choose whatever color clay you want to get the clay you desire. I desire purple clay because purple is my favorite color. So, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, yes, yes, please like the video too if that's also your favorite color. Oh, I know that's some of your favorite colors. So, we're gonna get like eight hardened clay from this. So far, we got three. I'm gonna wait. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, we gotta freaking do the, the Jeopardy song because it takes forever. Um, and we got a lot of stuff to do in this episode, so, uh, not episode, in this update. Um, as you can tell, I'm excited because 4J Studios works on, like, multiple consoles, like, up to six, I think. That's why it takes Xbox 60 Edition now, like, eight months for an update to come out, even in a bug fix update. Um, which is sad. It used to be, like, every two or three months we'd get an update, but, you know what? I guess it makes me more excited now to wait for these updates. So it looks like we can really only get, like, two blocks from this. Or let me see what the output is on these, um, the stained clay. I think it has to be... So it's in the decorations tab. Oh my god, we have an output of eight. That is amazing, you guys. Holy crap. Look at this. An output of eight stained clay. That is amazing. I love that. So that's purple. So you don't get your colors mixed up. There's quite a, a, a range of uh, an arrangement of colors to choose from. So as you know, before previously we had Minecraft blocks that you know materials that turned into blocks, and and their minerals. So we have these minerals, and now we have redstone and coal added to the list. Um, the cool thing about these is you know you go mining, you collect all these little minerals and materials. You go to your chest because you don't you don't have enough space. You can make them all into blocks, and you can build with them. Or you can just use them as storage, better storage. Now, the quartz is actually not in the decorations tab. It's actually right here in the structures tab. There we go, because it only needs four to make a block, which is much more plentiful. Uh, and then now we have coal and redstone available to do this too. So we just go back here and boom, boom. So now we have these two blocks on the list. Um, the cool thing about their textures in this default texture pack is that they're cool. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's cut that off for a second. So it is almost nighttime, and I have these contra contraptions set up for the daylight sensor. So the daylight sensor works like this. This is on when there's daylight, right? Daylight activates this. And as you can see, the daylight is dying. And when the daylight dies, the redstone em that it emits dies. So the way this one right here in front works is uh, if the daylight... Okay. The one back there, as you can see, almost all the lights are off. Just a second ago, there were a lot of lights. But I missed it for some reason. Um... So when the sunlight completely dies, this... Oh, there you go, there you go, see? It's still on, but not fully. Now, this is basically the opposite of that. It's inverted. Um, the lapis and the torch are making an inverter. So basically, when it turns nighttime, the light will turn on. Look, there you go, woo! Look at that, that is amazing. So that is how that works. 
There we go. And uh, when the sunlight comes back up, that will turn on all the little pieces one by one. So anyways, back to this, I had to change. Um, the cool thing about the redstone blocks also is that they emit electricity or redstone power, you know? They emit power, so that's why those lights are on. That is amazing. Next thing we have here is this little slime being annoying. You're not a part of the demonstration. Go away. Go away. Go away. All right. Now, what we have here is hay bales. These are a new block added into the game. Um, the thing about these is you can feed them to horses to give them health. Uh, you can take your wheat and uh, you can store it in a much better spot. Once you have nine wheat, you can make a hay bale block. And it's just much better storage rather than filling up your chests. You can just build something with it. You can build a, a house out of hay. That is amazing, dude. So look, the thing about these and why I have these other blocks in here is because of this. Hay bales are placed differently. They're kind of placed just like these blocks are placed. Very oddly. So if you look down at a block, you know, you can place the, the block how you want it. Your orientation. But if you kind of face at it from a different angle, sometimes it places differently. But for some reason, these blocks don't do that. They only place it when you touch a certain side of a block. So if you touch the side, it'll flip onto its side. As we all know. So that's how hay bales work. They work just like logs do. Logs work the same exact way, as you can see. And also, quartz blocks also work the same way. And I would know this most because I built skyscrapers with quartz blocks a lot. So I would know exactly how this is supposed to look. Alright. Now, um, the next thing that they did was wood blocks, wood log blocks, now have this little outline on the, out, on the, outer, on the outer edges. So now they're no longer just bald. They kind of have like a more, like the sides go onto the top a little bit more. Now this contraption here is really, really weird looking. You're getting confused. Okay, just look at it like this. These are the four rails and this is the new rail that they added. The new rail that they added is the activator rail and its name does exactly what it says, activator. Now, as you can see, we also have some new carts and stuff. We have a TNT inside of a cart. Um, and as you can see, the TNT isn't on every single line because of specific reasons. Some original Minecraft has these three. These three right here. Minecart with furnace, chest, and that. That's a minecart with hopper, and this is a minecart with TNT. Now, the thing is, minecart with hopper, I think, I haven't tested this out until now. You can put stuff inside of it and transport like that. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if we can bump into another minecart with hopper and then just transfer that. I'm not sure. We got to test that out one day. Um... But minecart with TNT, these can just roll along these freaking regular tracks normally. But if they roll... Okay, so these three tracks are all combined in some way to act just like the new activator rail. So anything that sits on the activator rail just moves. It doesn't matter. It doesn't turn anything on. It just moves. Um, anything that sits on these power rails, if the power rail is on, gets sent flying. Now, it doesn't have that feature on the activator rail where things get flying, where they get sent flying. Uh, it's just like, it, it's kind of redstone. It just turns on TNT only. It doesn't do anything. See, as you can tell, they don't move automatically like they do for power rail. Um, so that's the difference. And the power rail, you can actually power using a block of redstone underneath, which is pretty neat. It saves you from having to put awkward torches everywhere because uh, torches are awkward sticking out on monorails and stuff like that. Because as you can see, it's no longer powered and things aren't going to move anymore. But if we do this and replace it, Boom, it's going to power right now. There you go. And now things move. Now, the thing about uh, these rails is I'm pretty sure if you put TNT on it, it'll explode. But for the detector rails, it doesn't make the TNT explode for some reason. And on the activator rails, it will. It will. I would test it out, but I don't want to blow up my tracks. And I don't want to blow up this whole area. So let's not do that. <laughs> but yeah, that is how that works. You can experiment with that on your own. Um, in your own creative world and stuff like that. And you're in. Are you going to get mad at me? Hmm? 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 Nope, I guess not. Anyways, um, yeah, nighttime is going away. We'll show you this again later afterwards. Um, oh yeah, let me show you how to first craft a, um, freaking daylight sensor. That's what it's called. So you need three wooden slabs, you need three quartz, and you need three glass, and that'll make your daylight sensor. Now, if you think of it like this, the white part is quartz because... Have you ever had a watch that says made with quartz or something like that? Because it actually is made with minerals of quartz. Just a little bit. And it makes it a little bit valuable. That's why watches are expensive. But it's made with quartz. And then you imagine the glass is covering the quartz to keep it safe from outer, like, elements. And then the bottom, of course, is made out of wood. 
So imagine that. Now this contraption here, it looks really wild. You don't know what's going on. I didn't even know what was going on building it. But I figured it out. These are uh, hoppers and droppers and stuff like that. So we're gonna deal with hoppers. Hoppers are really weirdly placed. If you just place them on the ground, they just go straight down, as you can see. But if you see the little nipple nozzle thingy on the bottom, if you crouch without flying and you face that certain direction, it'll go in that direction, as you can see. Now, if I face the other direction and do this, boom, look at that. So they're gonna go into each other, which doesn't really make much sense, but that's fine. So let's start with this contraption. We have diamonds and we just dispense diamonds into the first hopper. It will fly and hop, uh, hop into the hopper and go into the chest. Boom, look at that, your chest is full of diamonds. Now, uh, I think a few diamonds dropped somewhere. Yeah, you can see it going through. It goes through for like half a second, it's really short. You can also just toss it in there and it'll still do the same thing, you see? Seven. Um, so we can just spam this. And yes, a lot of it is going into my hands because that's just how Minecraft is. And look at that. Uh, this contraption here, you can also work it like this. I think this one right here would work more for like a bank. Say, you know, you walk into the bank and you want to deposit just a few diamonds. You know, just throw your diamonds in there. And it'll eventually just suck it and drain it. Uh, and it'll just all go through here and fall into this chest. And the bank will get your deposit. And um, it'll just keep getting your deposit until you pull it out. Unless you want to give them the whole stack. Which I don't want to give them the whole stack. Thank you, bank. I would like my money back now. And there you go. You put it back in. And you deposited 64 diamonds. So I feel like that would work great towards the banks I have in my city. Um, that we have in New Salem. Because Salem, uh, it needs banks. Uh, well, it has banks. But it needs like a, a more efficient system. Now this kind of hopper system. I think this would also work the same way. Pretty much. I mean, it's just a chest. It's just an additional chest. Because hoppers are basically made from chests. So they have to deal with like storage. So if you just do this. And you know, you just spread them out like that. It's just going to slowly drain your numbers, as you saw before. There you go, you can see that. And if you do this, it will take what is on the left side first. So, if we just drop a whole bunch, and we just... There we go. And just spread them out this way. It's going to take everything from the left side to the right side next, as you can see. And here it just appears magically. So, there we go, and... That's that. It sucked up all of them. Now, these are dispensers and hoppers. Droppers are the new thing. Okay, so we're going to grab our torch. And, um... Droppers can face in any direction. They can face this way, that way, that way, that way. They can face upward. They can face, you know, whatever direction you want. Uh, that one's facing, like, awkwardly inward. And they can also face downward. Now, the thing is, you have a dropper and a dispenser those are two different things in minecraft dispenser was the original bitch that was the og the original gangster now look let's check this out real quick so the sun's coming up and it's going to turn this one on wait for it wait for it no come on yes there we go i'm not kind of lagging my game a little bit um so if we have a dispenser it has the little, like, happy face looking thing. Or the the little, um... Dispenser is the O face one. That, that is like, that's like, um... <gasps> oh no! And the little smiley face is the uh, dropper. The new dropper. So, um, the crafting recipe for the old original dispenser that we've always had in Minecraft is this. With redstone and a bow. Now to make the, uh, the dropper, it's like basically the same thing. But hollow, you don't have a bow because it doesn't really necessarily shoot. Now I'm going to kill some of these redstone things. So that way we have less lag because I'm detecting lag. And it's going to make my recording bad. <laughs> okay. So, the difference between how these both shoot, I think, actually, there is a difference. I think droppers don't dispense animals and, like, mobs from eggs and fireworks. I think they just throw it out. Ha uh, dispensers, I think, those actually spawn things. Now, that was the crafting recipe I showed you of, um, yeah, see, it, it just throws it. It doesn't necessarily make it. It just throws it. So... We're going to put these back here. Alright. There we go. Yeah, it's not spawning the pig for some reason. Now, the one above it is a dispenser, however. And this dispenser might work. You can place torches on top if you crouch. Yeah, oh, look at that. Look at that. It shot a firework. Uh, so dispensers, the original mofos, are much better. Because they actually dispense things. So just know that if you ever do a custom map and you know you put eggs inside of a 
dropper, then you did the wrong thing. You need eggs inside of a dispenser. Dispensers are better than droppers. Pretty much. Because dis droppers, just uh, they're just for transportation. <laughs> um, and as you can see here, you can also place it upside down. Uh, I can't get it to work for some reason. Nope. Okay, oh, that's activating the one below it. Maybe if we put it on top. Yeah, that's the dropper, and this one's the dispenser. Wait, 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 wait. Can we get some firecrackers of any sort, fireworks, any whatever, throw them inside of the dispenser, and they will dispense. Oh, and it does dispense piggies, like I said. Dispensers are mainly for actually dispensing things. Droppers are just for transporting, so don't get that confused when you build a custom app, because then you're going to be wondering, like, why is it not spawning the 120 creepers I wanted it to spawn? Because you use a dropper and not a dispenser. <laughs> just because that's how that confusingness is. We're going to slay these little piggies because they're going to run around free, and I don't need them to do that. I'm going to grab all the little loose items so we have less lag. Alright, the next thing we got here is... My understanding, my non-understanding of the new redstone, which is a redstone comparator. I do not necessarily know what this thing does. Uh, the redstone comparator is this one right here with the three torches. The one in the middle is a redstone repeater, but it's changed, as you can see. Now, I don't really understand what this stuff does, because I'm not really good at redstone. Ugh, yeah, I don't understand. Like, you can turn off the torch in the middle, and it can, um, if you put... Two comparators on either side of a um, repeater, it gives the repeater... So this is a normal repeater, right? But if you put, if you turn it on and you put two uh, comparators right next to a repeater, it'll turn the repeater into this weird, like, blocked, locked system. So as you can see, it's not doing it now. I think the, th the third torch needs to be on for the comparators. But I don't understand, like, what's going on. So the crafting recipe for the regular repeater we know is this. Now, how do you know that? Because it has the picture of it has two torches. Now, the picture for the comparator has three torches. That means it's actually going to use three torches in the recipe. And it's not going to use redstone. It's going to use quartz. Probably because it's a little bit more special or more, more powerful. Eh, I don't know. That's just 4J's idea. So, I don't really understand that. But this shows my actual understanding of redstone. I know how to make a five clock pulser, which is basically a redstone circuit that goes in circles. And I don't have to use any of that new complicated stuff. Like, I don't understand why it's so difficult to me to do that. And this is a much more simpler version of the uh, 5 clock pulser, but we would call it a 4 clock pulser because it's only 4. So there you go. Uh, that's my understanding. I don't understand comparators and all that stuff, so... Um, another understanding of redstone I have here is the new weights. The new, um, the new weight pressure plate things. So, as you can see, we have two new ones, which are gold and iron. Our original ones were stone and wood. Um... And think of it as this. We used to be able to stand on this with body weight and it would turn something on. Now, if you drop something on it, nothing, it doesn't turn it on because it's not body weight. It needs to be heavier. So if you just drop one little item, it's not going to work. It has to be body weight, like human or like monster weight. Now, this is human and monster weight. Also, object weight. One little block turns it on. We already know about those. Now these, think of the gold and the wood about the same. They're both light weight. They both take light amount of weight. Stone and iron, however, take heavy amounts of weight. Now, if the gold, for some reason, we dropped, you know, two stacks of 64 and one stack of one, right on top of this, it does turn it on if it's just one stack. But you can make it even turn on even more by dropping even more. Boom, look at that. Now with regular body weight, you can't turn it on that much because apparently... Uh, 129 blocks is heavier than you. <laughs> I mean, and for iron, you definitely need a, a butt ton more. You need 20 stacks of 64 and one stack of one to drop on top of this iron, and it will work. So here we go. There we go. That's eight. That's nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, and 1 by itself will turn this thing on. Do you see how heavy that is? Nobody wants to do that. So I don't really understand what I'm going to use these for in a, in a map ever. I really don't understand what, if I'd ever use them. Like, uh, And then body weight does not turn on gold or iron. So 
those are more for custom maps where you collect items, you collect collectibles, and you drop them onto the, uh, the plates. But, I don't know, it's really, really confusing. Now, the recipe for those are basically the same as the originals, just with the, um, the according, the according material, you know? The corresponding material, so yeah. Uh, there's something burning in that lava. So the next thing we have here are beacons. Beacons are made by um, having three obsidian. We have glass, five glass, and then little nether star. Uh, so as you can see, there's a little black obsidian. There's a glass around it, and inside is that little nether star. It looks like diamond, but it's a nether star. So then you get your beacon. Your beacon, you're going to need these four currency materials. And you're going to go inside of your um, beacon. And I, it's, as you can see, it's already giving me haste for about 6 or 7 seconds, and this is just level 1. You can make your pyramid out of um, different materials. You can also make it as big as you need for better levels of um, as of stu stuff. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and it's going to give me speed now. So the haste is going to go away, but the speed is going to come back. There you go. Now, the thing about these beacons is you can make them out of gold, you can make them up uh, emerald, diamond, iron, or gold. And they'll turn on in this simple formation. And as you can see, these are all level 1s. You could just feed it. You could just click on the power you want, feed it the material, and then check mark. And there you go. Now, the next thing... So let's do that to all of these, or at least another one of these. Uh, you don't have to feed it the same exact material it's made out of. You can feed it a diamond if it's an emerald one. You can just check, check whatever one you want, and then check mark. And there you go. Look at that. The cow loves it, too. The cow loves it. So, um, with that, you cannot, unfortunately, make one out of uh, redstone, coal, or lapis. I don't really know why. Probably because redstone and lapis, or redstone and coal are new, and lapis just won't work. Um, this is level 1. This is a level 2. As you can see, these are unlocked now. You have jump boost and resistance. Um, so, you can activate those, give it a material, whatever you have. Check mark, and it will give you that boost. There you go. So now I can jump a little bit higher. It, feel, it feels like it's a little bit lower gravity, I think. Yeah. Can I jump up two blocks? No, I can't. Well. Um, we'll see. Maybe if I can... Hold on. If I cannot jump over two, then I can jump over one and a half. So it looks like... Yep, jump boost one lets you jump over one and a half blocks. Which is basically a fence. And a cobblestone fence. So that's cool. We also have a level 3 here, which is going to be this whole primary stuff right here. Uh, this is going to be the last of the primary, and that's going to be strength. There we go. Give me some nice strength. Yes, we're not going to demonstrate that, though. And then this is the final level. This is level 4, I think. Uh, and this is the secondary powers. You need 4 layers of whatever material. Now, I think you actually can mix-match the material if you want. We just go ahead and put in one of these, and we'll get regeneration. And it's not giving me it for some reason. I don't know why... Uh, I do not understand. So this might be a glitch that they'll have to work out in the next update, which will be title update 20, which will be a bug fix update most definitely, because this looks like a bug. Looks like one of the first few bugs I discovered. Well, great. So that's going to be need to be fixed. My bad. <laughs> Meant to show you something cool, but there is nothing cool. Not right now. So yes, um, you can mix max mix match your, um, your pyramids. You don't have to make it out of fully diamond blocks. You can make it out of whatever block materials you have. Uh, what out of the four minerals it will be made out of. Uh, so you can just make your freaking each layer like one gold, one lapis, and all that stuff. Let me turn these off because they will actually. And actually, if you destroy one little block, it'll turn off. See what I mean? So just one little block, and the whole thing will turn off. So, um, yeah, that's that. You can mix and match your materials. You can make it out of gold. Uh, you know, just a mix of all four. And they do emit light, which is pretty awesome. You could use that for, like, alternative light sources. Although it's pretty expensive to get freaking beacons. Uh, you have to kill another a wither for that. Okay, so what we have here... First, let me start with this glowstone. I put this glowstone here because this fire would jump up onto the cobblestone and almost burn these chests. Now, these chests right here... This is a trap chest. When you open it up... It sends a uh, redstone signal, and as you can see, if you just have it regularly, it's only going to send the signal for one block, as you can see, which sucks. This is a normal chest. Uh, we'll have the normal chest for comparison in a second. So how do, uh, if you have a repeater, it will actually extend it like that. 
Now, these are made like this. You need a normal chest and you need a tripwire hook. How to make a tripwire hook, in case you don't know, is iron sticks and um, planks. And you will get you get your tripwire hook, you combine it with the chest, and you get a trap chest. Now, the difference is, as you can see along, around the lock, it's a little bit red. And that's a little bit black. That's a normal chest. When you open it up, you see the red. You see that? You see that? And then there's no red there. So that's how you can tell. But you can't really tell until you open it. So that's a bad thing. Be careful. Uh, the next thing we got here is uh, fireworks. I do not know how to work these things. I know that we have these fireworks and I know how to read them. Uh, as you can see, we have the duration on the top. The duration, like one second, two seconds. There's only one three second one and the rest of them are two seconds. Uh, we have like what they are, like small ball, fire, star, star all that stuff like that. You have like uh, the shape it makes, the colors. It says blue or yellow. As you can see, it goes up, it bursts. And it also fades to a different color. That's what these are. Now, guys, try to go watch a different tutorial on how to use fireworks. Because you're not going to learn it from me. I tried teaching myself off camera and I do not know how to do this. The only thing I know how to do is fire them off because they're that cool. I don't necessarily how to craft them. Because they're kind of difficult. They didn't explain fully. So, um, that and I didn't pay attention to the tutorial because I was in a rush. I saw that this update came out today and I was like, yes, I gotta do this. Uh, so here we go. Those are nice effects. And as you can see, the durations are different. That's like a one second, that's a two second. It lasts just one second longer. You see, it goes boom, and then one second, boom. So these ones go off right away, pretty much. So we're gonna throw these in there, and it tells you like what it is exactly. What it's, what it's like that is obviously a star, not from the bottom, but you know from wherever. So if you live in a city and you live on like the, the tenth floor, it'll explode along around the tenth floor, and you'll see it perfectly. But if you live a little bit higher or lower than the firework, then you're not gonna see it. Um, that's just my idea of cities: is you wouldn't be able to see the firework from certain angles. If you're lucky, the firework explodes right outside of your window, which will freak you the fuck out. <laughs> Um, because, you know, that's just how that works. Look at that. That is nice. I like that. And as you can see, it changes from one color to the next, sort of. You know, kind of, because it fades. It fades. What's, this is one that fades right here. Okay, yeah. Fading to orange. Um, let's, let's shoot some of these off and see how they fade. Yep, there you go. So it changes from one color. Let's follow it. Ha, ha. Look at that. That's nice. That's a nice transition between colors. I like that. So yeah, these just really entertain me. I don't really like know how to make them. These are the crafting recipes that are in the crafting table, but I do not understand a single thing. So I know you need paper. I know you need gunpowder and I know you need a color of some sort, but this just makes a firework. If you just have, it opens up a new GUI, by the way, this is a whole new GUI inside of a GUI. It's GUI exception. Um, so yes, you get just a regular thing, but it doesn't explode. It's just a firework. That's it. That's all it does. So it's just kind of a dud if you just have paper and gunpowder. Don't do that to yourself. Don't do that. Don't waste your materials. Go get a color that you like. Like, I like purple. And then combine it with... Go back over here. It'll open the new GUI with the fireworks star. And from what I understand, if you do that, you get a fireworks star and it's color. And it's a small ball. Now, I don't understand how to make the actual rocket itself. Uh, some of you might know better than me. It's because it's, I think, just because I'm an old mine, my uh, old school Minecraft player. I don't understand most of the new stuff. Uh, so if you put this in here, and I know if you put another, yeah, that makes it fade to white, so we can see it go from purple to white. Now I think if we take another gunpowder thing, and we put this in the thing, we can combine these to make a firework rocket. There we go. And it will make the one I want, which was purple, fading to white. It's a small ball, and its flight duration is one. So we're going to do this. Purple, white. Look at that. And it's a small ball. It's only one second. It lasts like one whole second, so. That's my understanding, my very basic of understanding of fireworks. I don't understand how else to do it. I think you can do something with, uh, like, a creeper head and the fire charge. I don't understand this kind of stuff. It's confusing to me because it doesn't show up in the freaking crafting table. It might be a glitch of some sort that they have, or it might just be stupidity that I, I have, or ignorance because I'm not paying attention to it. Um, but I will learn one guys, one one day, you guys. I will. Uh, for now, I'm just going to make boring old regular balls instead of 
I won't I won't be able to figure out how to make creeper heads and uh, stars and stuff like that. But whatever, we'll figure that out one day. Now here we have um, the Nether Star. That's a whole new thing that they added to our game now. Uh, the Nether Star and the Wither is also a new boss we have, which is cool. Now over here we have lots of new stuff. We have horses, mules, donkeys. This is all new stuff here. Um, we have a villager in there. I don't know. I don't remember why I spawned him. But uh, my horse disappeared. Don't know where my horse went. I need another horse. Uh, that's This is a donkey because donkeys are gray. And you got to think of the donkey from Shrek. I think this is a mule. Yeah, this is a mule. Um, a horse should be a different color. Now, let's start with this. You say you walk up to one in the wild. You find it. You sit on it. And it's not necessarily yours. It keeps bucking you off, as you can tell. Now, the way you get off of these things is you uh, don't look down at it like a minecart and press left trigger. Because you can't do that with the minecart anymore. If you try doing that, you're, it's not going to work. You need to look down at your minecart and click in the right thumbstick. Same thing with horses. That's how you get off. So now this guy's mine. I put the saddle on him. How you put the saddle is you crouch and then you left click on him. Left trigger. And then, see, you have to crouch. And then, there you go. Um... Uh, so there's that. Just experiment with that by yourself, and you'll figure that out. Uh, we need to make a lead. We also have this diamond armor, but let's get a horse. That's a baby. Okay, uh, that's not a horse, I think. I think that's a donkey. Oh, gosh. Donkey. So there's a baby donkey. This is horse. Okay, so when you have babies, you can feed it a whole bunch of apples, and it'll grow. As you can see, it's growing in size. And there you go. So apples make these things grow faster. But you need a poop ton of apples. And as you can see, the little shadow on the bottom of it, it grows to about the size it should be when it's full. And I think this one's already tamed because we rebred it. So we need you to grow. And then look at the shadow. Boop, you see how the shadow goes from small to big? That means uh, it's fully grown when it does that. So that's how you can tell between uh, adult and baby. Okay, so the next thing we got here is we got leads. You can click on them with your left trigger and you will click on any fence post and it'll stay there. Now you can click on the fence post again, precisely on the freaking string. It will drop it like that in survival mode. In creative mode, you won't get it back for some reason. It's just really weird like that. But you can hook up more than one thing at once. I don't think... Okay, let's lead you in here. Yep, there you go. And close this. Um, oh, okay, that didn't work. I tied you to that by accident. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Thank you. Come here. Come here. Come on. Sit right there. I'm gonna close this up. And um, let's... Okay, so you cannot lead mobs, but you can lead animals, most definitely. Yep, wonderful. Wonderful. We get to lead mobs. Uh, there's a mob over here. Come here. Awesome. So that works. And I'm getting phone calls, but I'm probably not going to answer it. <laughs> I'm probably not going to answer it now because I'm too busy doing a video. Um, so let's see. Uh, we need to figure out these horses. Because guys, I'm, I'm learning as well as you are learning. Uh, I did practice a little bit off camera, but I'm learning now. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, how to, uh, okay, so basically I already told you how to get off. You get off by, um, clicking down the right, like, thumbstick, not the left thumbstick. Um, there we go. Ah, oh, come on, stop bucking me off. Stop it. What are you doing? Are you mine now? Now, basically you sit on these guys until they get hearts. Now, I think you feed them apples. Do you? Do you feed them apples? I don't remember how I did it. I think I just sat on him until he, like, said hi to me. And he's like, oh, hearts. So when you see the hearts up here, that means the thing is yours. Come on. No. Uh, yeah, I think... I, oh, there's the hearts, there's the hearts, there's the hearts. Uh, so we got hearts now. Um, that's great. And now we are going to... Um, put on the armor. Oh, wait, this is not... You can tell it's not a horse if it doesn't have two inventory slots. This is a mule or a donkey, I think. Yeah, that's a donkey. So I need a horse. Is this a horse? No, this is a mule because mules only have one 
little box. Horses have two boxes, and that's for a saddle and armor. As you can see, this guy doesn't, he only takes one. So he's just uh, a mule, and this guy's just a donkey. Donkey! You can tell. Um, Alright, we need a horse. This is a horse right here. We're going to grow you. So grow you, come on. Okay, there we go. And now we just uh, sit on you and tame. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Insta tame. Okay. So now we can get off of you. We can crouch. And we can put a... Oh, I didn't mean to give you babies. My bad. So look, this is a horse because it has two inventory slots, which is good. Uh, I don't need you. And... Um, we need you to have a saddle. So we're going to go steal the saddle from the other guy. My bad. I don't mean to... I don't mean to sit on you. Okay. We need the saddle from you. So give me that back, please. Thank you. Now you guys forget, if you if you don't crouch, you can't grab it from them. Uh, there we go. And let's ride around. Look at how fast this thing is. Oh my god. I could travel around my city with this. This would be the new car of the city. <laughs> the fuel efficient car. So, as you can tell, it's jump meter is a little blue bar. If you hold it for too long, it just goes back to the blue. But if you hold it for a certain amount of time, like, no! You get a little bit of that yellow. But I can't seem to get the yellow. It's kind of difficult. I guess it's a higher jump. You gotta, like... You don't hold it for too long. But don't hold it too early. Ugh. Well, at least you get to jump over fences. Jump over fences with it. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um. We have... We have name tags. Name tags is a good thing here. We're going to go ahead and grab our little Mushroom Pal here. We're going to spawn him or her somewhere. And, oh, I need a name tag. There we go. Name tag. We are going to name you something quite awesome. Yes. <laughs> quite lovely. We're going to name you. Shithid. We're going to name you Shithid. Shithid. Yes, we're going to name you Shithid. Yes. Now, Shathid here is going to ride with us um, happily into our little lava pit. So, as you can see, the horse doesn't have health for some reason. I think that might be only uh, that might be a survival only kind of thing. Yep. 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 So horses can die of fire, uh, very obviously. <laughs> um, just testing that out. Now, the next thing we have here uh, is. Mobs, 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 moobs, moobs. Okay, skeletons. We now have wither skeletons, you guys. Uh, I don't think you can spawn them yourself. I'm not sure. They might only spawn in the nether. I'm not sure if you can spawn them nab uh, naturally or accidentally. Um, zombies also... Oh, look, 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 look. There's a zombie with armor on its head. So skeletons and zombies now also spawn armor on their body, which is a really weird thing because, great, now it's going to make them harder to fight. So if you're lucky, you should be fighting one without armor, because if you're unlucky, they're going to have armor and they're going to kick your ass. So, um, do this right here. There we go. Yes, be yes. Yes. And now we are uh, always this shot right there. Okay, sorry, I'm just experimenting. If I, if I throw this at them, will they, like, pick it up and give it to themselves? I don't think so. I think they have to spawn with it. Because I'm, I swear on the PC edition, I would throw armor at them and they would put it on. And I could also throw tools at them and they would pick it up. I don't think they'll do it, though. Interesting. Maybe that might be also a glitch also. So they're going to need to fix that. Okay, so yeah, this obviously does not work for some reason. Yes, okay. We also have a new mob, you guys, and that is witches. Dun dun dun. So if you're ever exploring the swamp, you can find witches inside of their inside of their huts, and they're inside of swamps. Uh, huts are a new um, building that they spawn in. Um, 
And sometimes you might find them in there, sometimes you won't. And as you can see, these witches are really smart. They're healing themselves. They drink little potions and heal themselves. That is scary smart. Scary, scary, scary smart. Yeah, these guys, these, these bitches are not gonna die. Yeah, they're not dying. I'm trying to test it out and they're really not dying. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, those are witches. We also have bats now, you guys. So if you're exploring a cave, don't get scared if you see something fly right, fly right past you really fast. Um, so we have new bats. That's cool. They die pretty fast. Yeah, they have low health. Um... Witches, somebody let the witch out. She's running and running and running, 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 running. Die. I think this is the only way you can kill. Oh, no. Wow, that is how scary smart they are now. They drink potions of fire resistance now. Now, what about potion? How do they work against, how do they work against poison? Do they drink regeneration? Now, it looks like they just keep drinking health. Wow, that is crazy. I think witches are almost undefeatable. Oh, crap. Well, good luck, you guys, if you ever find a witch out in the wild. Um, let's see. Well, how do they respond to uh, weakness? Do they make themselves stronger? Do they, do they drink strength? No, I don't think they respond. I think she just keeps drinking health. Well, guys, these guys are going to be very, very, very hard to fight. Uh, the next thing we have here is about portals. Now, I would like to test those end portals, but I don't think so. So we have a target on the other side of this wall, as you can see. Now, we can shoot at the target normally, and we can collect our arrows. But things can go through portals now. As you can see, I've, I've been shooting through the portal. And yes, some things will go through, but some things won't. As you can see, I've shot more arrows than two. Now, we can also throw items in the portals, and they will transport. You see, there's the, the item's not even there anymore. We can also put mobs through it. Look, he went through it instantly. And there he is! Look at that! Hi, Creeper! Uh, so, Creepers can go through... Go? Okay, there you go. And, once again, items. Boop! And there he is! Look at that! So, uh, we're gonna kill this guy off, just so he's not in our way. Excuse me. Excuse me, Mr. Creeper. Okay, we're gonna just get rid of this stuff, throw it in another dimension. There you go, that's how, you, that's how Consuela cleans. That's why you should never trust her. She just throws all your stuff in a different dimension and just closes the dimension off. So what we have here is, I'm looking at my list, which my list is, where's... Okay. Alright, so my list says, because um, we got a great big deal of stuff here. You can rename containers and people. You can obviously rename people and like mobs and all that stuff with a tag. But you can also rename... Um, uh, chests, which I think we named this one, but there we go, and we place it down. Oh, it still says ender chest. Okay, so I don't think it works with ender chest. That might be a bug. Uh, I think it might work with this. So we're gonna name this. Yes. And I think when you open it up, it should say yes. So it works. So you can rename chests for, you know, organization. It can just be named chest also if you want it like that. Get out of here. Yeah, you're never going to die, you stupid ugly. Whatever. Okay, well, this witch is undefeatable. Are you undefeatable? Of course. Of course. Okay, the next thing we have on my list here is um, mushroom. Uh, not mushroom. Bone meal is nerfed. They messed it up. As you can see, it has green sparkles now. But it takes longer. You can't really necessarily use it on um, sugarcane. I was going to test that out, but it doesn't work. Um, cocoa beans is also a thing you can use it on now. That's amazing. I love being able to grow cocoa beans really fast. So as you can see, if we have new cocoa beans, we can insta-grow them. But we need multiple bone meal because now things take multiple bone meal and not just one. So that sucks. Uh, wheat, it also works the same way. One, two. Oh, if you're lucky, it uses two. Sometimes I might use three. Now, this tree wasn't supposed to grow, but we took a long time doing this this um, update. And I know it is quite a long video, but stay informed, people. Stay informed. As you can see, it makes the tree grow. It just needs a lot of bone meal. And mushrooms also grow, too. 
I don't think this one's going to grow if it doesn't have space. So let's make space. Come on. Space, please. Boom. Boom. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. The witch has a new house. Go in there. Go in your new house. I think a mushroom house is more suitable for you than, than a hut. And that's all the updates we have now. Uh, there's also other listed updates, which I will list in a part two that I will do right after this. And it is raining, so I'm going to hide in here with the witch. And uh, thank you guys for watching this update video. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed doing it. There was a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, yeah, there's a quite lot of new stuff in the game. I want you guys to subscribe, as it says back there. And I also want you to leave a like on this video. Share. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.